I don't know what we're getting into. Yeah, if there's not a spooky monster in the shed, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Backup drive not found. Okay, press P to start. Here we go. Out in the shed. I wonder what's out in the shed. I need to back up my game project, but I left my portable hard drive out in the shed next to the lawnmower and the weed whacker. I need to go get it. Okay. Okay, before I leave, I should get my phone to use as a torch. Such a naughty plush. Look at you, you naughty, naughty plush. All right, we have to set our phone on fire so we can use it as a torch. All right, fire maker, 3,000. Some oat bars. Where's our phone at? He said grab our phone so we can use it as a torch. All right, well, apparently our phone's not in here, which is unrealistic to not have your phone right next to you. There it is. Oh, yes, I always keep my phone in a different room. Z or X to toggle the phone torch? Either one. Actually, it's Z to turn on and X to turn off. Oh, that's tricky. Why can't we just get an F F for flashlight? What, what happened to the good old days, guys? Can we go out here? Yes. No. All right, here we go. Yeah, I have to go get my backup hard drive out of the shed. Wow, it is, uh, it's pretty dark out here. Pretty dark. It's a really tall fence. I think the fence is higher than the house. Okay, the fence is as tall as the house. All right, I found the shed. Here we go. Oh, shit. Was that not fast enough or did something shut that? I was thinking like what's in the shed other than the hard drive. I'm hoping that that's not what it means when it says out in the shed. Like I'm hoping that there's actually something scary out here. Nope, that's it. The, the title of the game just describes the location of the of the backup hard drive. Great, now I can plug this into my computer. Hard drive collected. Can we go down the Mario pipe? Is that like a faster way? No. Okay, so guys, um, nothing in the shed. Nothing nefarious. Unless while we were in the shed, something slipped into our bedroom. Anything under the bed? All right, well, we're going back in. That's our bedroom. Let me just see if we can go in these other rooms yet. No. Still no. Dude, I can't believe that. I'm a little disappointed that we walked all the way out to the shed, grabbed the object that we needed, and now we're back inside and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Not even like a little, you know, something scurrying across the screen. Like, what, what the fuck was that? Not even one of those. We literally just walked out, grabbed what we needed, and now we're back inside. We plugged the hard drive in, and it says, we're sorry, but the game you've been working on has been erased. And, like, the dev, you know, obviously makes horror games, and to them, that's the scariest thing that they could think of. Like, what's the scariest thing you could ever imagine? Oh, you know, spending hundreds of hours on a horror game, and then my computer crashing and losing all the data. I'm going to make a game about that. That way everybody can relate. No, no, we can't relate. I wanted an axe murderer to be waiting for me out in the shed. Okay, that's what I want, right? That's what we as the players want. Scary to you is losing info on your hard drive. All right, so let's plug this in. Crap, I left the cord out in the shed as well. I saw the cord. I didn't leave it out there. You wouldn't let me click on it. This isn't on me. This is not on me. Can I, can we leave? There we go. All right, wait, hold on a second. We got another chance to uh, see something out in the shed. It's a pretty tall fence though. Like I don't think anybody's getting in here. Anybody out here? Anybody out here? All right. 
right, still nobody inside. There's the cable. Finicky E button. Got it. Now, when we go back inside, are we have to come out, come back out again for whatever the hell this thing is? Like, can we just grab this now since I'm right here looking at it? Dude, nothing. Not even something lurking in the shadows out here. The, the door to the shed shut and scared me. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, I'm begging for a jump scare at this point. All right, well, back inside. <gasps> oh, sh shit. Guys, you see it? You see it? The naughty plushie? The naughty plushie's gone. All right, so that's that's what we're dealing with. It's not under the bed. Okay, backup drive located, backing now. Nice, I should turn off the light and get to bed. Oh, God damn. I love how the poster glows. All right, going to bed. Oh, we're still alive? Okay, cool. Oh, look who's back. You naughty plush. I feel like going out and listening to the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go hang out in the shed for a little bit. Wow, this place looks so different during the day. Wow. It's like, it's like night and day. You know what I mean? Like the contrast of what it looks like at night versus what it looks like during the daytime. It is like, it is like night and day. <laughs> wow. All right. So let's just hang out here by ourselves, sit in our little chair and listen to the radio. Okay, so the guy on the radio show is basically experiencing the same thing we are. He's being interviewed by a guy and he's explaining that he has a poster featuring a video game character and sometimes when he sees the poster, the character changes positions and sometimes he's not even there. So they're, I guess they're kind of giving us a heads up in case we didn't notice ourselves. I'm hungry, I wonder if there's any oat bars lying around. Well. Well, you're in luck because I know exactly where there's a note bar with your name on it. Oh, he's missing again. All right, the uh, the plush is off the poster. I repeat, the plush is off the poster. But now he's back on the poster. Oh, there's my oat bar. Time to get back to work on my game. I should turn my PC on. Wait. Did his eyes change? I don't remember his pupils being that tiny. I, I think his eyes changed when I, when I took a bite of the oat bar. All right, let's turn on our PC. I have to admit, I think something is wrong with my poster. Now his pupils are completely gone. I have to throw it out. My bin is out in the shed. Everything's in the shed. All right. All right, you naughty plush. Looks like you're getting trashed. I feel like we're going to throw the poster away and then we're going to go back inside. The poster's going to be hanging up again. 
Oh, that's a okay. I thought it was a Mario pipe. I thought I thought that was a Mario pipe. All right, let's throw this away. All right, I think I should get to sleep early. I'm not sure why that was beeping. All right, will the poster be hanging up again when we go back inside? Or maybe the plush will be sitting on our bed. Oh God, fuck. Okay, I saw him out in the hallway. I'm not turning off the lights tonight. I'm going to bed. Oh shit. <laughs> like nothing suspicious. Yeah, yeah just uh, leave the lights on. That'll save you. Oh my God. Where the heck am I? Is this a dream? Oh, great. The plush threw us out. It looks like we're in a storage unit. Dude, it's so dark. Where are we? Dude, it, it, we're not in a storage unit. Are those lasers? Oh, we can't go through there. I can't interact with it. Dude, I don't know where to go unless there's a switch somewhere to turn off the red lasers. Yeah, it's like we're in a maze. Unless there's something back this way. This is where we started. But I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. Yeah. So now what? It looked like I couldn't walk any further. Maybe I just didn't... Maybe it seemed like we weren't walking. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're going. It's because, like... There's like not really any texture to the walls of the floor. Like it doesn't look like we're moving. See, but we are, but we are. There we go. Okay. So that should turn off the laser beams. I'm prepared for a giant bunny. Is that what that thing is? Giant bunny jump scare. Check out the red room first. All right. Well, there's, oh, this is the shed. Oh, great. The door just shut. Okay. Naughty plush just chilling. Oh shit. What, what are we doing? I can't leave. Oh, knock on the door three times. Oh, fuck you, man. One, two. Three, turn around. <sighs> oh, it's gone. Where'd it go? Dude, I don't know where it went. Oh, okay, we can leave. When will I wake up? You're not dreaming. This is your reality. All right, that's a dead end. Oh my God. Oh, we can, <laughs> we're definitely not squeezing back there. So where'd this thing go? Cause that's it. Dude, this thing's huge too. Yeah, we can't go that way. I guess walk back the way we came. Maybe we are dreaming. It's so Boy, cool. Ah! Where are you going? The fuck was that? Come back to the shed now. What the fuck, man? That's right. Come on back. Oh, okay. That was a nightmare. I've never been so scared by a normal voice in my life. Not like that. <laughs> like the most normal chill voice. Hey, hey, come back. Come back to the shed. Well, it, it was weird because it sounded like, I don't know. It sounded like it was like right next to me, like not in the game. 
It kind of freaked me out. Dude, what if that's the sound of the of the plush? That's what it sounded like. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought that you know, like it wasn't in the game. That like my Xbox app was open and someone joined a party chat. That's what it sounded like. I was not anticipating a normal human being to start talking in my ear. Okay, we're gonna go hang out in the shed again. Is the poster still out here? Today in the latest news, a man in his 40s is found dead in his bed this morning. So the man that was on the radio station yesterday talking about the poster, his haunted poster, that's like ours, it, it was found dead in his bed this morning. I need my FireMaker 3000. All right, let's go get the FireMaker 3000. What is the FireMaker 3000? Okay, time to set the bin on fire. Okay. Time to burn this place to the ground. I feel like this is not a safe place to burn your trash inside the shed. Well, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, jeez. Finally, that should be over. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna just chill the rest of the day. Dude, amazing. Look at, look at the graphics on that fire. Like if I didn't tell you I was playing a video game and you just tuned in right now, you would swear to God that you were looking at a real fire. That's how good this looks. Amazing. Oh shit. Look at the window. You can see his hand sticking out. Oh, it's a shadow. Yeah, like maybe we don't go. Oh God! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Holy shit, dude. Dude, that was so good. Because, like, I saw his shadow. And I'm like, all right, so he's got to be standing over here. Nope. And then, boom, right in my face. All right, let's go relax for the rest of the day. For some reason, I'm starting to feel lightheaded. I should put this down where I found it and have a rest. All right, well, there you go. All right, probably gonna have another dream. Dude, the buttons are a little finicky. There we go. I always have to press the buttons like multiple times. So in the latest news, a person has been found dead in their bed. Similar to yesterday's news where a man in his 40s was found dead in their bed. The individual who has been found dead today was identified as a game developer. And similar to yesterday's case as well, there is no evidence to determine this. So we were killed in our sleep. However, we should have just left the house. Find the bin out in the Get the shed. fuck out of there. All there was recovered from the bin were the remnants of a poster, which has been identified as the same poster which conspiracy theorists believe was responsible for yesterday's death. I don't know what's going on here personally, but what I do know is my break is coming up and there's a tune for you all to listen to. So here it is. Okay. No tune. Wow. Oof. I, I, I could have. Uh... I could have played a little bit more. I was kind of sad to see it end right there. Yeah, we got killed by a poster. Dude, that was good. That was a really good one.